back to my channel, or shall I say, welcome to Zara's Cocktail Bar! This video is going to be me basically showing you how to make the most gorgeous, delicious porn star martini you will ever have tried in your life. Now, I'm not exaggerating, guys. I'm being serious. Right, so I've decided to share this with you simply because I got, well, all my girlfriends, if there's one thing that I know that I am good at, it is my cocktail making skills. When I say to the girls we're having cocktail night, they are instantly like, hallelujah, hallelujah. They do love them. We love a cocktail night in. And what better time than me to show you now? I probably should have showed you in lockdown, but good job I didn't because you would have all been raging alcoholics by now, loving all these cocktails. But I've got a few signature cocktails which I am a bit of a pro at now and this is one that took me a long time to replicate. If you love a porn star martini, you will know that you can go out and you can get some good ones and you can get some pretty rough ones. Now I'm not being funny, my three year old could probably make a better one than some of the ones out there. But my absolute favourite has to be the Slug and Lettuce one. Now if you haven't tried the Slug and Lettuce porn star martini, you need to try one. They are insanely delicious. But you don't need to because I'm going to show you how to make it. This took me months to replica but now I've got it spot on and it is absolutely delicious. So without further rat a tat tat let me just show you how to make it and enjoy one too many so guys, before I make this, the initial outgoings of buying this stuff is probably going to cost you in the region of... you have got two spirits to buy. We have Pessoa and we have Vanilla Vodka. You can use any Vanilla Vodka. Obviously, Pessoa, this is the only brand you can use of that. But you can use any Vanilla Vodka so you've got Absolute, Smirnoff. You know, so you've got a few to choose from. Just buy whichever one is on offer. This tends to retail for £12, and this one can be anything from 16 to 25 About £30 odd pound to start you off. But once you've got these things, guys, you can make as many as you like, and these are going to make quite a lot. Like, I'm not be funny, £30 odd pound, that's probably three cocktails when you're on a night out. Um, I spend about a, a ton when I'm on a night out because these are what I like to drink. So let me show you how to make them. Very easy, okay? Right, so the first thing we're going to do guys is going to pop some ice into our glass now this is an actual martini glass that i picked up and this is from home bargains they are literally like 29 so these are one trick now from home bargains if you want the special look you need to do this now i should have really got more ice guys i'll be honest with you but the first thing i'm going to do is pop my ice into there to cool my glass down Next thing I'm going to do then is get straight on to the actual cocktail mix. Okay, so what you're going to need, guys, is 40 ml of vanilla vodka. Now, I've got myself a cocktail kit, um, so if you get one of these, it'd be easy to weigh out. Right, so 40 ml of vanilla vodka, cocktail mixer. So that's vanilla vodka, done. Then you're going to take 40 ml of Pessoa. And you're going to chuck that into your cocktail mixer. You take 40 ml of your passion fruit juice. I had to substitute for Tropical because I've looked everywhere. Rubicon, Rubicon passion fruit juice is the best one. It gives the bestest taste. But it's out everywhere. I've been to Asda, I've been to Tesco, I've been to Sainsbury's. Nobody has got it. So I think everybody's jumping on this bandwagon. But I'm just going to use the Tropical one. It's got passion fruit on the bottle. So that's what I'm going to use. I ha you can actually buy as well the Funkin Pro Passion Fruit Cocktail Puree. This is the actual stuff that they use within most of the bars that you would go to. But this is going to be you once open. This is going to be used in 10 days. And I opened this pretty much four months ago. So I don't, I don't really fancy it using that. So I'm just going to use this one. And I'm going to use 40 ml of this. Chuck that in there. And then for the final ingredient, guys, you are going to use 15 ml of caramel syrup. Now I'm just using the Marnie's one. You can find this down the coffee aisle. I'm going to chuck that in there. 
that this is what thickens it up guys and gives it that sweetness right so what i'm going to do now guys is literally just put my ice in there now my glass is cold my ice is going to go in there i did want more ice but i haven't got any in my freezer and i haven't i've run out so you're going to shake this vigorously Shaking it. When you think you're done, just keep shaking. You get the biggest froth from the top. Look at the head on it. Look at the head on that, guys. Beautiful. Now, all you are literally going to do then is cut your passion fruit. Garnish it. And voila la la. One porn star martini for you, madam. D vine mm -mm -mm. look at the head on that tastes absolutely insane just like i knew it worked give this a try comment tag me down below let me know if you loved it let me know if you want to see some more cocktails i could do a lot more i've got a lot more on my list let me know if you want to see them and I will do them for you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't get too drunk now. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye guys.